as of right now, there are a lot of high quality games coming out for MetaQuest 2 and MetaQuest 3, but also bad apples here and there. The great part of gaming in 2023 is that unlike other years, you don't have to spend as much money to get good games. With Quest, there are a lot of high quality free VR games. And today I wanted to discuss Big Ballers VR. Yes, that's the name, Big Ballers VR. Has gone from a price tag of $10 to free to play. It's certainly worth checking out at least as the only thing required is your time. And by far I've spent about the better part of five hours. At first, I didn't like the game. It definitely grew on me. A brief description of how the game feels is like if NBA 2K had a baby with Roblox. Currently, the game has a 4.8 star rating with over 2,730 ratings and 2,272 reviews. It's very highly praised. So the game at its core, it's focused on basketball and it has other modes like volleyball, baseball, football, and laser tag, which are all in beta and I'll get to that later. And a key aspect to the game is multiplayer. So you will be playing with randoms or friends as the game has a big emphasis on it. With basketball, the game to me is really good. A key part to understanding any VR sports game is that they don't exactly imitate the real thing, but they do a good enough job to simulate the experience in VR. If you have a good jumper in real life, you will have to relearn your technique since it doesn't exactly translate over. With Big Baller VR, it does a good enough job translating basketball in VR. You can dunk, dribble, jump, do a jump shot, fade away, or shoot half court shots. The best part of the game is that it simulates physics, so it feels like you're actually shooting your shots and not just having aim assist or using like a meter in 2K where you have to to hit the green between the yellow and the red. It takes some time to not constantly airball or Russell Westbrick every shot. The game also has variety of basketball courts, whether in your own private court that you load up in to the game or an outdoor court or an inside gym. And it's pretty cool to be in all of them in VR. In the game, it has that 2K feature where you challenge someone and you both touch a button on different sides. It puts you in a red or blue team and it makes you go into 1v1s or you could 2v2 or 3v3 as inside the line shots are one point and three pointers are two points up to 11 points in order to win and a key to this game is mastering your game and to master your shot in the game for me at least is baking your shot whether you're doing a layup or half court shot most of the time it will go in if you hit the box inside the board but if you hit corner threes or dunk you do need to be a little bit more precise just to hit net and for me at least it keeps me wanting to hoop in the game it's really addicting and fun but if you cheese by just hitting nothing but bank shots but mastering the game and beating people in 1v1s is the best part of the game as well as talking that ish between matches and the game has other modes like volleyball baseball football and laser tag which the game clearly tells you in bold that they are in beta for me at least it's just the same basketball mode in a different costume i say this as baseball bats in the game bounce like they were a basketball as a batter you can jump and hit the ball which gave me a quick laugh in volleyball you can just serve the ball like hitting a three-pointer in football the physics for that mode feel off throwing the ball running with the ball and running consists of you flaining your arms like a windmill and that's what i mean by the jank but hey at least now it's free to play and the lasers in the guns in laser tag don't even fit on your hands they just sit at your palms and these modes compared to the basketball mode certainly feel like an afterthought but over time they can be improved and they will and at the core of the game it's better just to have fun and kick it back because the more you play the more you understand how most top players or higher levels just cheese the game with them being able to snatch the ball at any moment's notice or take a half court shot without missing any not missing any shots because nine of the times if you hit the backboard it guarantees any shot it's not necessarily the best game for competitive play but it's a good game to get some exercise while having fun and with the performance and graphic portions the graphics on the game on quest 2 and quest 3 are the same and they do have three different modes one set to 72 hertz 80 hertz and 90 hertz it's impressive for an indie game dev to implement it and for the most part they stay at that frame rate so you get a smooth and consistent experience 
experience. It pretty much feels like the same game on both Quest 2 and Quest 3. The major difference would be that Quest 2 has more jaggies and aliasing, as well as having that pancake ink lens is godsend. Graphics wise, the game looks passable, but since the game was made in Unity, it has that basic Unity feel. It is free and throughout the trailers and store, it places emphasis on gameplay more than anything. So it gets a pass. Assets and textures, as well as character models, have that default look. When playing, it feels like every other Quest 2 Unity game that lacks any shadows, high res textures, or good lighting. <laughs> and the game at times does look insanely cursed with player legs. And when they crouch, they look like something straight out of a horror film. Since the game is on Quest, price low, then free to play, there are lots of kids in the game. Most of the time, they are not annoying, but you'll find toxic lobbies with kids that have no problem with dropping the end bomb back to back from time to time thankfully there are adults and for me at least it's the saving grace as usually you can take banter back and forth with while being non-hostile but at times it does certainly feel like a daycare and at first this game was a hard sell but it going free to play gave me no other reason why not to try it and after some time it's actually pretty good as a basketball vr game on the other modes they are certainly more janky and less less fun and feel more as an afterthought i do see myself spending more time in the game and try to hit some cool shots and get get in more 1v1s and yeah i would absolutely recommend this game but keep in mind like every other game and free to play game toxic city is there so if you're more sensitive to those kinds of things it does get bad and also since the game is free to play it does have microtransactions but they are limited to in-game customization features like wearing glasses hats they are overpriced for how they look and to me at least it's worth supporting the devs but like if you ever play roblox they have that low res low texture no lighting they just feel very market place-ish and a lot of the in-game cosmetics for me at least i think if you were like it targets children in order to be with it being wacky goofy or out of place and hopefully with updates they look better so i feel inclined spending money in the game to support the devs but at this moment i think the business model is kind of questionable to me at least but hopefully over time we see improvements big ballers vr certainly has that basketball mode down pretty good and hopefully there are improvements to the other modes so they don't just feel like the basketball mode and i would say definitely check it out it's free all it asks is for your time and yeah that's all leave a like so or comment if you like the game or your criticisms and until the next video bye